Hello and welcome to my YouTube live broadcasting. How is everybody? Hope you're doing okay. Can you hear my sound? Is my sound loud and clear guys? Let me know if you can hear me. Welcome everybody. God bless. Hello Phil Herrera, Frau, Moon16, Hobo, Momo. Wow, that's a nice nickname. Long News of Jerusalem, welcome. Filter Shift, Mimi Hijab, Joe P, uh, PG Coffee, leave a message, users offline. Christ is Lord. Everybody who just joined in, God bless you. Please invite your friends. Let your friends on social media know that we are live. Princess Rainbow, hello. Nice to have you here. Guys, today's topic is actually uh, kind of uh, yeah interesting <laughs> so to speak uh, it, it can be a little bit uh, vulgar but you know this is what Islam is this is Islam 101 guys what can we do right when you teach about Islam uh, you know nine of nine out of ten times it's going to be you know uh, dirty what can we do guys it's going to be filthy so <clears throat> before we start guys before we start play with me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Father please bless our beloved audience today and give us all the courage and wisdom to overcome lies taqiyah and deception enfold us in your arms Lord fill us with your Holy Spirit that we might reflect your light within this dark world and that we speak your word with boldness and without any shame so you can draw the poor victims of this man-made sex cult to your feet, Lord. Lord, please loosen my tongue today to speak the truth to our audience without any error or falsehood, Lord. Holy God, give us the courage to do whatever needs to be done to expose this nasty cult, i.e. Islam. We ask this through your beloved and holy son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen, Amen. As we mentioned earlier, guys, on this live show today, we'll have the opportunity to understand the mindset and teaching of the best of creation, i.e. The prophet of islam prophet muhammad last but not least when i finish my teaching we'll have another nice q a session with our guests in the live chat hopefully during the live show we will have also a muslim who will call us maybe an ustaz maybe an imam who uh, will dare to call us live on our live show hopefully we will have a real sincere discussion or debate call it where you what you want to call it so my skype is open my skype id if the admins would post it in the live chat my skype id is the rob christian the rob christian so if you are a muslim call me we are live we are live before we start guys since this is another uh beating this it's another live show to expose the dirty mindset of muhammad the prophet of islam i want to say the following tonight we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight Championship of the world. Are you ready? Wrestling fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's get ready to rumble! Well, I hope you are ready, people, because today's topic is really going to be dead topic of the year. <laughs> the Prophet of Islam had a dirty mindset. Uh, why did I uh, choose this topic today, guys? Well, the reason is because someone sent me a link to a YouTube uh, video between, and it was a, uh, I, I really became angry, angry, really angry when I saw the video between uh, our dear sister Hatun and Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa said to her, I will spit in your face. What? You call yourself a man and you want to spit in, in a lady's face only because she is exposing the filth that you call a religion only because she is exposing the dirty mind of your prophet so you want to spit in her face you know so you know because he said it and i really became angry you know at that moment i, I became really angry when i was seeing the video so i i thought that let me put my anger in a teaching in and you know to benefit you to see how islam is nothing but a sex cult it's all about sex it's all about women it's all about uh you know uh a creation a man-made cult for one man and one man only for his own sexual desires and we know what aisha told muhammad remember what when aisha said Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fi hawaka ya muhammad right I always see that your Lord hastens to fulfill your desires, right, Muhammad? Aisha was not stupid, guys. Aisha was not stupid. She knew that this guy is a scam. Every time he was getting busted, every time it was about sex and women, suddenly an ayah comes down from Allah to serve Muhammad. So Allah is no one else but the slave of Muhammad. Muhammad used Allah as his personal slave to uh, you know to help him out with his uh, sexual desires whenever Muhammad wished to have a woman Allah came to help him Muhammad lusted for his own daughter-in-law basically his daughter Zainab bint Jahsh his own daughter-in-law and suddenly you know Allah comes to his aid any woman wants to give herself to Muhammad, it's okay, man. Don't need even to give her dowry, right? Even married Muslim women, if Muhammad lays his eyes on her, her husband, her Muslim husband must divorce her and must give her to Muhammad, to F her, to do nikah with her, right? Right, Muslims? Yeah, nikah means effing, guys. To eff her. To be honest, PG Coffee, if I see uh, Ali, Ali, Ali Dawa, I, I am not sure if I could, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. But anyway, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they they learned that from their uh, the so-called best of creation the best of example that was ever created by Allah so if you are a follower of Muhammad of course you're going to dis disrespect women and let alone if it's a Christian woman who is exposing your filthy prophet so yeah it's nothing but a disgusting cult uh, I mean it's almost 2020 people it's almost 2020 how can you still follow Islam, especially as a woman, when Muhammad created Islam only for himself and his sexual desires? How can you still be blind in 2020s? We are only a couple of days left, man. 2020, are you still following this backward cult that was created 1400 years ago in some desert called Mecca? Muslims. Wake up, man. 
Okay. So let us start today's live show, guys, about the prophet and his dirty mind. One of the one million dollar questions is, did Muhammad kill any women or children? When we ask this question to the scholars of Islam, to the shiuch or the imams or the ustas, you know what they will say? You know what their answer will be? It's going to be a big no. Are you sure, brother? Brother, Mr. Imam, brother? Ustaz, brother? Are you sure? It's a no. Yes, brother. Brother, listen, brother. I'm going to give you one million dollar. One million dollar. Is it yes or no? Brother, don't confuse me, brother. Zakir Naik. Don't confuse me, brother. It's no, brother. Are you sure, brother? Yes. Are you 100% sure? Yes. Okay. Speaking from Cave Hira, did Muhammad kill any women or children? Children. The Imams and the Shiuch and the Ustaz will say no. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. You heard the Sheikh, man. I mean, come on, man. You, you heard the Ustaz from Indonesia. He said, no. Are you sure, brother? Yes, brother. I'm sure, brother. All right. It's your funeral, brother. Okay. Let's see. If we go to islamqna.info, this is a official, an official Salafi Sunni website. Let me give you the link. This is the question about murdering of women and children. This is the fatwa number, fatwa number 2437. Okay, 2437. This is the Sheikh Muhammad Salah Al Munajjid, PhD Sheikh, probably from Al Azhar or Medina or, or you know, at, he's a Sheikh, right? He has a PhD in Islam. He's a PhD Sheikh in Islam. So when this question is asked, the Sheikh is going to say the following. No one can believe that any person with religion or any mercy in his heart would split a pregnant woman's belly and take the infant out and then kill it. Killing children uh, one by one in front of their parents, smash their heads with axes or burn the living, only a criminal. So the Sheikh what was his name? Sheikh Muhammad Salih al Munajjid is saying, These are not my words, guys. These are not my words. These are the words of the Sheikh. Okay? I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. So the Sheikh is saying, Only a criminal with a heart harder than a stone, which has no mercy in his heart, right? He has no mercy in his heart, does not know Allah. Wow. Okay, so. You are a fake Muslim, basically. You do not, you are a disbeliever. You are a kafir. And does not believe in the hereafter would do such acts. It's not even possibly for a sane person to believe that such person is a Muslim. I mean, you heard the Sheikh. You, the proof is in front of you, right, guys? So we asked the Shiuch, are you sure Muhammad did not kill any women and children? They say no. And they, on top of that, they say only a fake Muslim or basically a non Muslim. Only a non-Muslim maybe would do that. Only a criminal. So let's see, guys, if Muhammad is a criminal. Let's see if Muhammad has a stone uh, harder, uh, sorry, hard harder than a stone with no mercy. Let's see if all is Muhammad does not know Allah. Let's see if Muhammad is actually a fake Muslim. Let's see if this Sheikh is actually condemning his own prophet. Let's see if Muhammad actually did kill women and children. This is Sahih Muslim, guys. Let me give you the link so you can read with me. Save them, bookmark the links, guys. Okay? Always bookmark links so you can use them in your own debates. You know, help me to help you. Use them for your own research, for your own debates. This is the reference, Sahih Muslim, hadith number 1745a, right? This is Sahih, Sahih Muslim. This is not my hadith, Muslims, this is your hadith, all right? It is reported on the authority of this companion that the Prophet of Allah, 
when he was asked about the women and children of the pagans being killed during the night, when he was asked, you know what Muhammad's reply was? They are from them. So continue the slaughter of the women and children. What did the Shaykh say, guys? He said, no. The Shaykh said, no, Muhammad did not kill women and children. Why are you such liars, man? Are you telling me? Sahih Muslim is da'if, brother. Brother, Sahih Muslim is da'if, brother. Must be da'if, brother. Right? This is why it's called Sahih. Right, brother? And you heard the Shaykh. The, the Shaykh said, quote unquote, only a criminal with a heart harder than a stone, which has no mercy. This criminal does not know Allah. The criminal does not know Allah. He does not believe in the in Jannah. So would do such acts. It's not even possible for a sane person to believe that such a person is a Muslim. You must be crazy. You must be out of your mind if you believe that such a guy is a Muslim. Well, that means, in other words, Muhammad is not a Muslim. He is a crazy criminal, a madman who loved to spill the blood of women and children. So according to the Sheikh, Muhammad was not a prophet. Uh -huh, brother, you said no, brother. I know. Brother, you said no. I know. Sorry, brother. Brother, sorry, brother. I didn't know this hadith, brother. Aha! Are you out of Islam, brother? I don't know, brother. I mean, you know, what about the 72 virgins, brother? The Huris, brother? You know, uh, you know, I want my Huris, brother. This is why I'm in Islam, brother. So uh, this is, you know, this is a yes. This is not a no. Muhammad did kill women and children, brother. Yeah, the brother is lying, brother. The brother is lying, lying, lying. Sheikh Muhammad Salih al Munajjid is a liar, brother. He doesn't know his hadith, brother. Do we have any Muslim brother who wants to call us? Do we have any Muslim who dares to call me live on my live show? We are here. We have <coughs> more than 100 people watching. Don't say you're a Christian, you're lying. No, look, I'm live. Right here, right now. So call me and try to refute me. Silence me. Mimi Hijab, silence me. Refute me. Yes, Mimi Hijab, call me. Silence me. Refute me, brother. Your shiuch just called Muhammad a fake Muslim. Uh, fa yeah, fake Muslim. A murtad. A hypocrite Muslim. Your prophet is not considered to be a real Muslim, according to the shiuch. Bam, brother. Yeah, Molly the Mujrim, the criminal. Exactly, Phil Horayra. Mujrim means criminal in Arabic. Yeah, if you're a kid, don't call me. Only grown-up can call me. This is a grown-up topic today. Right, brother? So you see, guys, women are actually, together with the children, they are the victims in Islam. And... Today's topic especially is about women. So if you are a woman in Islam and you are really sincere, you should continue watching our live show. If you are not sincere, you don't care about what happens to you in Islam, uh, click uh, my live show away. This is not for you. This is only for the sincere people who care about the truth and only the truth will set you free. Right guys? It's only about the truth. If you want to stay in Islam and you enjoy the sexual pleasures in Islam and you enjoy the women in Islam, you want to, you know, have your 72 virgins, you know, she should stay in Islam, brother. Yes, brother. So I want to play the video. Guys, are you still with me? Are you still with me? Give me one if you're with me. All right. I had the feeling my uh, live show was frozen, but that's not the case. So I want to play the video of Ali Dawa. Maybe you have seen it, maybe you didn't see it, but I want to play the video for you. And, you know, try not to be disgusted like I was yesterday and try not to get angry like I 
was yesterday. Let me play the video for you guys. You believe in adult breastfeeding, okay. Exactly. Is the Quran irrelevant today? Is is the Quran irrelevant today? The, Brother Daniel, you just heard him. Uh, he's correct. Are you telling us that the Quran was only for that for back then, for only forty hundred years ago, not for today, not for the future? <laughs> Let me scroll the. I would rather stick it in your face, but I'm not gonna do that. So can you? I would rather stick it in your face, but I'm not gonna do that. So can you get the hell out of my face? Filthy, disgusting creature. Ali Dawa, you are a filthy, disgusting creature. That's what you are, like your prophet. Guys, how can you not get angry when a Muslim talks like this to a Christian sister? Look at this, and they say they dare to say that Christian prince guys is a sexual predator for quoting the hadith about adult breastfeeding males, right? Christian Prince was quoting hadith when he was talking to the Muslim lady, right? He was only quoting Muhammad's hadith and the Muslims turned it against him to picture Christian Prince as a sexual predator. Well, he, Christian Prince was only quoting hadith. You hypocrite, disgusting creature, Mr. Ali Dawah. Look at this disgusting creature. Let me play the video and try not to get angry. I'd rather spit in your face. You heard him, right? He's telling... He's talking to Hatun and saying, I'd rather spit in your face. This is a... These are the words, guys, of a true gentleman. These are the words of a true gentleman. Right? Muslims, you agree, right? I mean, uh, where do you think Ali Dawa learned this language from? Of course, from his disgusting, foul creature, the, the worst of mankind, Muhammad, who they claim is the, is the best of mankind, the best creation, right? The best of example. If you are a follower of such an example, then clearly we understand where you get this filthy, disgusting language from. Is this, is this the way to talk to a woman? To a lady, Ali Dawa. Look at this filthy, disgusting guy. Try not to get angry, guys. Yeah. If you are the boyfriend, if you are the boyfriend of uh, Mimi Hijab, what do you expect from such people? I mean, what do you expect from a religion, from a culture, that is following Muhammad. They are followers of the are Muhammadans. Stop calling them Muslims, guys. Stop calling Muslims Muslims. Call them Muhammadans. Because these are no sorry to say, and I'm not trying to insult anybody here. I'm not trying to insult any animal. Forgive me. But are these people and uh animals or what? Are they animals or what? And I'm not trying to insult any animal guys yes I stopped the, the video because you know the more I listen to that the more I angry I get and you don't want to see me angry guys this is a religion of God guys this is a religion of God poor woman man you're gonna lash her like a you can today guys here in the West if you beat a dog on the streets, if you beat a dog and someone sees you, they will put you in jail. What about beating a woman, man? Look at this barbaric cult, man. If you beat a dog in 2019, 2020, you'll be put away in jail. They will put you away in jail. What about beating a woman? A poor woman, defenseless woman. Even animals do, don't do such acts, man. 
And I'm not trying to insult any animal. You disgusting animal, you, you Muslims. How dare you to call yourself human beings? How dare you? When you see such a picture like this, guys, are you not going to get angry? I mean, I'm talking now also to the Christians and the sincere Muslims. Are you not going to get disgusted from Muhammad's tradition, teaching, Sunnah, lashing a woman? Try not to get angry, guys. And we told you guys, actually the real victims in Islam are women because they are defenseless. They cannot defend themselves, right? Look what Al-Qurtubi, one of the biggest Mufassirun, the Tafsir granddaddies, right? One of the old school granddaddies of Tafsir. He's a Mufassir, that's what we call him in Arabic. Look what he says, quote unquote, women are like cows, horses, and camels, for all are ridden. <laughs> bang, bang, boom. Yeah, that's what women are only for in Islam. Yes, brother. Yes. Women are only for being born? Yes, brother. You know, where's the love? Where's the love? Baby, don't hurt me no more. Where is the love? Where is the love in Islam for women? What is love? Yeah. Any uh, Muslim lady? No Christian prince? Who's this guy? Hope it's not ultimate shirk. Hello? Hello, brother? Brother? Did you say inshallah, brother? Okay. Waste of time. I forgot to say inshallah. Like uh, Mimi Hijab. Last chance, last chance, guys. Same guy. This is the same guy who's calling me. Hello? Okay, uh, let me block this guy. Waste of time. Kids, man. Bye-bye. See you in Mecca. See you in Mecca. <clears throat> Rashad Khalifa boy. I think it's the Rashad Khalifa boy. Anyway, so this is what Al-Qurtubi, the Mufassir Al-Qurtubi said about women. Women are like cows, horses, and camels. For they're only good to be... <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Any Muslim lady here who is watching, are you not getting disgusted from your uh, from your uh, cult? Is this a is this a religion from God? This is a religion from God, or is this a sex cult, brother? Yeah, the brother who called me, he forgot to say inshallah three times, brother. What about Muhammad? What did Prophet Muhammad said about women, guys? What did Muhammad himself said about this? Women, dogs and donkeys can annul or cancel a Muslim man's prayer. Wow! This is a man of God. This is the apostle of God, Muslims. This is, you, you dare to call him the prophet of God. He is comparing you women with dogs and donkeys yes with dogs and donkeys brother do you accept this about you muslim ladies or are you going to say this is uh, fake musnad ibn hanbal is fake hadith brother brother yeah you're comparing us to donkeys that's what aisha said yes exactly breakfast gone you're sharp brother you are comparing us to donkeys. Yes, brother. Yeah, and Phil Horeira posted the link also. But I, I really wanted to show you the quotations by the Prophet of Islam. Women, dogs and donkeys can cancel a man's prayer. So women 
are actually compared with animals. They are not equal to a man in Islam, guys. Women are not equal to a man. They are equal with cows, with horses, with donkeys, all kind of animals. And you you want to stay in this cult, uh, Muslim ladies? You want to follow such a man-made sex religion that is comparing you with animals? You're not even a real human. You are half of a man. This is why Muhammad was comparing you with dogs and donkeys. Come on, man. How can you not get sad when you read this from the mouth of Muhammad? This is the best of creation Muslims. These are the words of a guy that you claim to be the best of creation. Yeah, exactly. Amazing grace. Exactly. You know, once, guys, once, when I was in Potok, when I used to debate on Potok, are you with me, guys? I hope you're with me. Give me one of you with me. Once, I was sitting on Potok, and... A Muslim guy came in in our room and I asked him the question, you know, uh, what do you think about a man? What do you think about a man when he's sitting with his friends, with his homeboys? So we have a man sitting with his homeboys and suddenly a really beautiful, right? A really beautiful model lookalike woman passes by and that man one of your friends he looks at that beautiful woman and he tells you I have to go guys I have to go see you in two hours and after two hours this guy comes back so you know he lusted after that beautiful woman and he came back after two hours and he said to his homeboys the Sahaba <laughs> You know who I'm talking about, right? Anyway, let me finish my story. So, he comes back after two hours and he says to his homeboys, to his friends, you know what I did in those two hours? He, uh, they asked him, what did you do, man? Well, I, because I, you know, I became really, uh, you know, I lost it. Because that woman, so she, she was so beautiful, and I became really um, hum, hum. I became uh, <clears throat> hot. So I went instead. I went to my house and I effed my woman. Yeah, I became so hot. It's getting hot in here. So I went to see my wife and I effed her, and I came back to tell you about this. So I asked this guy. He was a Muslim. I kid you not, this truly happened, a true story, I kid you not. And I asked him, what do you think about this guy? Uh, uh, honesty, man. What do, you, what do you think about a guy who is going to his house after seeing a beautiful woman walking on the street? What do you think about this guy who comes back and he tells you that he effed his own wife because of that? He became really hot and he effed his wife. You know what the guy told me? You know what the Muslim, his response was? He's, this guy is disgusting. He has no manners. That's what the Abdul said. No, not my words. I kid you, this is a true story. So I told him, okay, here's the hadith about your prophet. And the guy, I never sa seen him before again in my room. I never seen him again in my room. Kid you not. Yeah. So it was, the story was actually about Muhammad. Yeah, the story was about Muhammad. He went to see one of his wives and, you know, he did boing boing because, you know, he lost it after that woman who was passing by and he came to brag about it and he told his Sahaba, his, his companions about it. This is a prophet of God, Muslims. Yeah, and, and the Muslim didn't know about this hadith. So he didn't know this was about Muhammad and he called his own prophet, a disgusting man with no manners. Basically an animal. 
Yeah, you should, you should, Abdul Halik. You see, you're gonna laugh. Trust me. I was like, let me try this, man. He was, yeah, he was a Muslim, bro. Kid you not. <laughs> Muhammad getting busted, say it ain't so. <laughs> so I actually tried this and, you know, we had a lot of fun after the, the gentleman left. You know, I really didn't want to insult him, but you know, this is hadith, this is your prophet. This is the sunnah of, of your prophet. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, any Muslim lady here, any Muslim lady, you want to accept this? When you see a, a woman like this, you want to stay still, still stay in Islam. Is this a religion for humanity in 2020? Muslims. This is a religion for 2020. Lashing a woman in public. Look at her face, man. This could be your mother or your sister, man. Your daughter. What a disgusting religion, man. You see, they only controlling the women, keeping the women like a dog on a leash. Next, they will put a belt around her neck and uh, walk her on the street like a dog. I mean, uh, they can do that. I mean, didn't Muhammad say women and dogs are equal? Yes, he said it. So... Do you have any Muslim lady who has the courage to call me and say, yes, this is, uh, this is what I uh, want for the women in 2020? Come on, only a couple days left, guys, and we are almost in 2020. Wake up, Muslims, man. This is a religion from God, or is this a religion from Satan? Why should a woman be lashed or canned when you call it when you want to call it? How can you not be disgusted when you see such pictures, man, in front of you? How in the world? Well, the man is still walking free around, man. This is his job. What do you think? This is his job, canning ladies. Canning ladies. And you know, when I looked up for this picture, you know why she's getting canned, guys? You know why she's getting basically slapped around because only because she walked very close with a man who was not her husband she was somebody saw her walking with a man i kid you not who was not her husband he was a stranger so they had to do this to her what rob christian yes brother yes brother do we have any Muslim lady watching who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? We are live. We are live. Call me on Skype, brother. You see, my Skype is open. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Maybe the admins can put it again in the live chat. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Wake up, Muslims. What about adult breastfeeding in Islam, guys? Yeah, I tried to look for a picture that is political correct as it could. You know, I l tried to find a picture that is suitable for YouTube. And I came with this idea. <laughs> this is adult breastfeeding uh, in a political correct way. Picturing it as political correct. This is the way to... <laughs> Lord of mercy. Yes, adult breastfeeding, guys. Any Muslim who is truly sincere, are you still going to follow the sunnah of your prophet, Muslims? Or are you going to say that only happened 1400 years ago? Islam is only for 1400 years ago or is it also for the future? 
for the present. Purple purpose of life TV. Sam Shamoon embarrassed you. Well, Sam Shamoon is my bigger brother. You know, maybe at that time he was angry with me. You know, I uh, I still love the guy. He's my brother, man, in Christ. He didn't. Maybe he was angry with me. It's okay. Yesterday we played a video about Sam Shamoon, and we are we are friends, man. We are friends for seven years. I mean. Uh, if I'm mistaken, correct me. That's okay, man. He, I, he's my bigger brother. Yeah, Sam Shamon is actually angry with everyone. <laughs> right? So, yeah, he has a temper. And, you know, I forgave him. I forgave the brother. And, you know. I mean, if we are commanded to forgive our enemies, should we not forgive our brothers in Christ? He's still my brother. I love the guy. I, I truly love him. Maybe I was mistaken. Maybe I deserved. I don't know. Anyway. So, Mr. Uh, Abdul, are you going to say uh, Muhammad was a filthy, disgusting prophet for commanding Muslim ladies to give their breasts to uh, grown-up males, grown-up strangers? Or are you going to call uh, Christian Prince a sexual predator. Why are you not calling your own prophet a sexual predator, brother? Eh? You hypocrite munafiq Abdul Muhammadan. Ya Muhammadan. Ya Muhammadan, son of Muhammadan. Ya Munafiq ibn Munafiq. Ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Are you going to call us? Sexual predators, why your own prophet commanded Muslim women to give their breasts to grown up males. You munafiq son of a munafiq. You hypocrite son of a hypocrite. Call me Abdul, call me. Let's see if you have the courage to call me. Let's see if you have the knowledge to refute me. Mimi Hijab said, silence me, refute me, okay? Do that, man. We are here, we're alive. Hello, Sneakers Corner. God bless you, my friend. Uh, serious question. How do you know for that sure that Muhammad taught that? I thought there was a commandment that says we shouldn't bear false witness, no? Uh, Sneakers Corner. Uh, what do you think about this hadith, brother? Sahih Muslim, brother. Sahih, authentic hadith. Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1453a. Are we liars because we can quote Sahih hadith, brother? Let me give you the link too. We are not lying here. I dare any Muslim to call me a liar, brother. The hadith is in front of you. Don't say this is your hadith Rob Christian. No, this is sunnah.com. This is official sunnah website. Official Sunni website. The messenger of Allah. Right? Aisha reported that Sahla bin Suhail came to Allah's apostle and said, messenger of Allah, Sahla is saying, Messenger of Allah, I see on the face of, of Abu Hudayfa, that's her husband, that's the husband of Sahla, right? He is jealous, the guy is jealous, signs of disgust, so he's jealous, her husband became jealous on entering of Salim, who is actually a man, a grown-up man, an ally of the family. So he's an ally of Abu Hudayfa, her husband, who came in their house, Whereupon Allah's Apostle saying, so Muhammad said, now watch, suckle him, who? Suckle him, who? Salim. Suckle Salim, brother. But, but the, the, the wife Abu, of Abu Hudayfa says, Sahla says, but, 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 Prophet, Prophet of Allah, how can I suckle him? 
as he is a grown-up man. Did I lie, Sneakers Corner? Did I lie? No, I did not lie. Allah's Messenger, look at the reaction of Muhammad, guys. Look at the reaction of Muhammad. Muhammad smiled. <laughs> Muhammad, look. A picture this in front. This is Muhammad. <laughs> Smiling. Yes, yes. He said, and said, so Muhammad said, I already know that he's a young man. I know he's a grown-up man. Amr has made this addition in his narration that he participated in the Battle of Badr. And continuing. And then Allah's Messenger laughed. Muhammad was still laughing. Brother? Yeah, you know, I hope uh, his beard was not tickling her uh, <clears throat> when he was suckling. Uh, so as she actually suckled him. Because she had to listen to the Prophet. This is Sunnah. So where, how are we lying, guys? Sahih Muslim, together with Sahih Bukhari, are the second source to go to after the Quran, right? So first you have the Quran, and you have to go to Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari. Who is lying now, Muslims? So are you going to call Christian prince? Are you going to call Christian Prince a sexual predator because he was quoting this hadith? Muslims. Uh, Sneakers Corn is saying, I think we who are Christians need to live by a high standard of truth. 300 years is too long. Sneakers Corner, uh, I understand that you are a Christian, but this is Muslim sources. Muslims have to follow this. Did you just see the Sheikh, the PhD? Sheikh in Egypt, an Al Azhari Sheikh who came on TV, on public live TV show, saying, commanding the woman who was there, a woman, the TV host, she he commanded her, you should suckle your colleagues, your male colleagues, so they can become your sons. What? Yes. And, and the, the, the lady was like, wow, what are you saying, man? Uh, you know, Sneakers Corner, I understand your, your uh, point of view. But my friend, these are not our sources. These are Muslim sources. You get frustrated? Well, Sneakers Corner... Uh, no, no, my friend, I'm not trying to insult you, but if you don't like this teaching, you should go, bro, bro. you should go. This is Islam. Are, are, are we going to, to be political correct here? My friend, are we going to, going to be political correct when we expose this sex code? I mean, nobody is forcing the sword of Muhammad on your neck. To stay here, man. I mean, I understand this topic is maybe not for everybody. But it is what it is. This is Islam 101, my friend. So if you don't like this, you should go. Right? Okay. God bless you, my friend. See you. God bless you. I, I mean, uh, I don't care. Uh, are you telling me? Are you telling me? That we should uh, respect the Quran? Should we respect the Hadith? No. We are using it against Islam to show everybody that Islam is nothing but a sex cult. This is the truth about Islam. Are we going to pol be political correct here? No. Never. And I really, I really pity the Christians who, uh, who are going to be uh, political correct with Islam. Wait, wait till one day, Lord willing, it will never happen. But one, wait one day, if Islam comes to your country and takes over your country and they force jizya on you as a Christian and you don't want to pay jizya, they're going to take your women as sex slaves. Let's see what, if you're going to be political correct with Islam too. Yeah, respect is earned, not demanded. Exactly, word changer. Wait, let's see how you're going to be.
when they come to you. Let's see. When they're going to take your women and daughters as sex slaves. Let's see how, if you're going to stay political correct. Let's see if you're going to stay liberal with Islam. So Muhammad told the woman, Sahla, keep suckling him, suckle him. Who is the sexual predator now? Huh? Muslims. Who is the sexual predator? Christian prince for quoting the hadith? Or is your prophet the sexual predator who is commanding women to give their breasts to adult males? Brother? Maybe you are disgusted, but why are you disgusted with me? I'm, I'm just a messenger, man. Why are you disgusting with my teaching when I'm only the messenger? I'm only reading what the hadith says. You don't like it? Stay away. Maybe this is not for you. Maybe you are, you know, maybe you want to teach about Christianity, the beauty of Christianity. I understand. I respect that. Go teach about Christianity because Christianity, it's an insult against Christianity. It's an insult. This is an insult against our God. This is why we're exposing this filth. Right? Right, Christians? This is the ins an insult against our holy living God. Such teaching. And you Muslims claim this is a man of God. Muhammad is a man of God. What about this then, guys? What about this? A guy a Muslim is asking a question on this website, islamqna.info, official Sunni Salafi website. And the Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Saleh al Munajid, he is the Mufti here, basically, he's the Sheikh here, PhD Sheikh. He's answering questions, and this is the number of the fatwa. 12-18-23 Detailed discussion about the hadith Tell him to bite his father's male member So Muhammad said Go bite on your father's pee pee Yeah, pee pee brother You are proud about al-jahiliya You are proud about the pre-Islamic era as a Muslim Then go bite on your father's pee pee what did you say? Yes, this is what Muhammad said, brother. Not my words, brother. If we scroll down, the, the, this sheikh can, you know, he's writing a newspaper, basically, as you see. Brother, answer the question, brother. So I have to go scroll down. Let's see where I found that part. Okay. This is the, the part that I wanted to show you. It was narrated from Ubay ibn Kaab that a man boasted an ignorant manner. Of his tribal lineage. So basically, he was there. This Sahabi, this man, was sitting there, and he was acting tough, boasting about Al Jahiliya, about you know his pre-Islamic tribal lineage. So he told him, who told him that? Muhammad said, "Go bite on your father's male member," and he did not use a metaphor. What? Not metaphor, brother? But I thought everything is a metaphor, brother, in Islam, brother. No, brother. This, this time it's not a metaphor, brother. Yes. I can see what you're thinking, says the Sheikh. And I can only say this, that the Messenger of Allah instructed us. If you hear someone boasting... In an ignorant manner of his tribal lineage, then tell him to bite his father's male member. And do not use a metaphor, brother. Brother, but this is nasty, brother. Yes, I know, but the prophet said so, brother. I mean, the, the prophet says so, brother. If you forget to say inshallah, you know, Allah will not help you, brother. If someone boasts, brother, it's not a, you know, tell him to go bite his uh, father's penis, brother. This is not my metaphor, brother. Yes, brother. Guys, copy and paste and post and, and save this link, brother. This is the prophet of Islam. Yes, brother. True story, brother.
Any Muslim. How can you not be disgusted of Muhammad, man? The best of example, the best of creation, brother. And this is narrated by Ahmed 35, 157, classed as Hassan. So this hadith is good hadith. Hassan hadith, brother. So the Shaykh is saying, it's okay, man, you can use it. Right? Because Muhammad said so. Use it. You can use it when someone is proud about Al Jahiliyyah. Right, brother? Don't use it as a metaphor. Say it as it is. Don't be political correct about it. Right, brother? Yes, brother. Let me post it in the chat because this is really uh, funny, brother. Don't use it as a metaphor, brother. Not everything in Islam is metaphor, brother. But I thought everything that we discuss with Christians, everything must be metaphor, else they are going to go use it against us in the court of law. I know, brother. I know you can use taqiyah, brother, but not this time, brother. Not this time. This is Hassan, yeah, Hassan. So that means it's good. It's It passed, brother. You see, you see the, the non-dirty mind of the Prophet, guys? You see why someone like our friend, <clears throat> our honorable friend Ali Dawa said that to uh, our dear sister uh, Hatun. Let me, let me play that video again, guys, for the people who just joined. Try not to be angry when a Muslim is actually allowed to use such nasty language with a Christian lady. Did you, did you catch what he said? Uh, uh, I want to spit in your face? What did he say? Let me put on my headset. I really became angry when I heard this, when he was talking like this to our dear sister Hatun. She's a lioness, man. She is always debating Muslims without any fear in London Speaker's Corner. I love this lady, man. She used to be a Muslim lady. And when she found out that Islam is nothing but a nasty, disgusting cult, she left Islam and became a Christian. And now she's doing the Lord's work. So can you get the hell out of my face, please? So look, look, this is the way to talk to a lady. This is the way to talk to a lady, uh, yeah, yeah, disgusting Ali Dawa. I know you are you are allowed to use such language because your prophet used that language, right? We just showed you. So can you get the hell out of my face, please? Disgusting, vile woman. Filthy, disgusting. Who is the filthy, disgusting, vile? You are disgusting like your prophet, brother. Yes, brother. You are disgusting like your prophet. Right? Try not to get angry with such people, man. But I don't blame the guy. He's a follower of a prophet of Satan who said this, used such language. Yeah, she's a lady. She's a lady. You're not going to talk to, the, to a lady like that, man. Truly, you must be a follower of Satan like your prophet of Satan, the agent of Satan to use such language with a lady. I don't blame I don't blame those people man really you know when you're brainwashed and you're born in such a uh, family you've been brainwashed all your life what do you expect yeah I'm going to spit in your face is that the way to talk to a lady Muslims right so what do you expect if, if the Muslim shiuch are saying women are like cows, horses and camels? So yeah, of course you're going to talk like that to women. If women, according to Muhammad, are like dogs and donkeys who can 
cancel a man's prayer. So what do you expect? What do you expect from such evil people when they talk to women and use such language with women? Anyway, Christians don't angry. This is the Islam, the true is face of Islam. This is Islam 101. And you want us to be political correct? You want to be political correct with Islam? Yeah, right. You must be truly a coward to be political correct with this satanic man-made sex cult. You are a coward. To, for me, you are a coward if you are going to be political correct. Don't be here, don't be here if you want to be political correct. This is not your, sh this show is not for you. Okay? If you want to be political correct with Islam. This show is, should not be for you. Go away, man. I don't want you here, to be honest with you. This is only for people who can handle the truth. You cannot handle the truth, go away. Just go. Leave. What about the 72 juicy virgins? I, I found this picture. This is a, uh, you know, the apostate prophet. <laughs> he, he put this together, you know, this is his, his thing, you know. <laughs> I could not la stop laughing when I saw this. Anyway, the 72 juicy, juicy virgins in Islam. It's all about the virgins, right Muslims? It's all about the women uh, that you will get from Allah when you go to, to the Islamic brothel called Jannah. The paradise. It's nothing about sex. You know? One comes in, the other one goes out. You deflower one, one woman, the, the, you, before you are even finished, the other one comes, uh, enters uh, your tent. Right? Thank you. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for your, for that. I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Yeah, this is really, yeah. Where do you think this, this idea come from, guys? Because if we go to the Quran, it's in the Quran. If we go to chapter 78, let's say ayah 33. It says, and voluptuous women of equal age. So fully breasted women with equal age, brother. When you go to, to, to paradise, when you go to Jannah, you will get, be in gardens and clothes and vineyards. So you can, you know, have any drink you want and you will get big breasted women. Allah will provide for you big breasted women, you know, who will not uh, hang you know so you know you'll enjoy them <clears throat> i don't want to be go too you know too much too deep but allah even describes what is inside the female part i mean allah needs to talk about that man he want he needs to tell you you know if you accept islam brother you are a good muslim brother i will give you virgins and uh, he's even describing what's inside <clears throat> yeah, you get the idea, and uh, you know they, you know you will get uh, huge brother, melons brother. Have you ever tasted a, a watermelon brother? Have you seen ever? Have you seen a big watermelon? You know when you, you know when you want some nice fruit. This is yeah, this is the the picture in front of you. Yeah, the li red light district, district, the red light district of Allah. Watermelons, brother. Make sure to tap on it to make sure to that they are, you know, ripe. You know, you know, because the sound, it's about the sound, brother. Tick, 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 you know. You know, make sure to know that uh, the watermelon is good, brother. And the full cup. It's, it's about the drinks, man. Rivers of wine, brother. If we go to the same uh, sheikh, guys, if we go to the same sheikh, he's going to explain. This is Islam Q&A again. Sheikh Muhammad Saleh al-Munajjid. He says, and maidens with swelling breasts, 
like of age? <laughs> Woo! Man, don't you want to say the Shahada right, guys? Maidens with pearls shaped breasts who are equal of age. And voluptuous women of equal age. I see. And now, now I understand. The, I mean, I mean, when I read the ayah, guys, I did not understand. I needed to go and understand what, what the Shaykh is explaining. Brother. Yes, brother. This is Islam 101, brother. You will get 72 big-breasted uh, women, brother. Uh, women with mel watermelons, brother. If you are a lover of watermelons, you should join Islam, brother. I make dua for you, brother. I invite you to Islam, sh say shahada, brother. And Allah will give you uh, 72 uh, huris with uh, uh, watermelon sized breast, brother. Yes, brother. Look at this picture, man. Look at the water pipe, you know, the, sh the hookah or shisha, or call it what you want to call it. Look at this guy daydreaming, man. I think when Muslims go to bed, guys, I kid you not, when m Muslims go to bed, you see this guy is here, you know, dreaming about when they are going to die, Allah will give them this, man, in, 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 you know. Look at the smoke of, the, of his shisha, man. I think he was smoking hashish. And before, he, you know, when he fell asleep, he saw this. This is him, right? You see, he's here with the woman, enjoying himself, you know. You know. Orgy, brother. No, no, this is, he was, he's dreaming. The shisha is it's in his room, brother. Hashish on top, brother. Mwah, brother. Mwah, mamma mia. Allahu Akbar, brother. Boom, brother. Now you understand. Now I understand why they blow themselves up, brother. Now I understand why when jihadi boys, jihadi boys go blow themselves up. It's all about this, brother. Yes, brother. Very spiritual, brother. Yes. And you wanna, you want us to be politically correct, Muslims. Christ, I mean Christians. Don't you want to say the Shahada when you see this, man? Come on. I mean, come on. You, you must be, you know. Say say Shahada, brother. After we are done. Don't do it here on the chat. You know. When we close our live show, go say the Shahada and dream like this Abdul here who's sitting in his bed when he's going to die. Look, he has a big beard. He's a good Muslim. When he dies, he will get all this, brother. This must be true story, brother. The brothel of Allah, yes, brother, yes. The red light district of Allah in Islamic Jannah, brother. And don't forget, brother, they won't look like this. Yes, they are white, but they will more look like this. What did you say, Rob Christian? They will look like this? I don't want my women to, to look like this. So this is false drawing? This is false picture? Yes, brother. They will look like this, brother. I kid you not, bro. This is, this is, I'm not the one who is saying this, brother. This is Muhammad speaking, brother. Yes. So the, the female virgins with big breasts, with the watermelons, they will look like this. No, I'm not joking. How dare you to say I'm joking? <laughs> this is not a joke. This is true. I kid you not. I'm going to show you. You dare to call me a liar? Ah, come on, man. You know I'm Rob Christian. You know that, right? You know I'm Rob. My name is Rob Christian, right? When I say something, I have to prove it. Okay, let let us go to the hadith. Let us go. Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih. What did you say, Rob Christian? Sahih al Bukhari, speaking from Kif Hira Hira. Sahih, 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 Al-Bukhari, Bukhari, Hadith number 3254. Let me give you the link. This is not me speaking. This is Sahih Al-Bukhari in his Sahih Hadith. Narrated Abu Huraira. Narrated Abu Huraira. Saying, the Prophet said, the first batch of people, the Muslims, 
So this is Muhammad speaking, not me. So don't blame me, guys. Don't blame me. It's Muhammad saying, the first batch of people who will enter Jannah will be glittering like the full moon. Oof, oof, oof. And the batch next to them will be glittering like the most brilliant star in the sky. Look, man, how... I mean, you don't, you don't need any LED lights anymore. When you go there, you're going to give light. I kid you not, brother. You're going, so, you're going to be so white. Look at this not non-racist prophet, man. I kid you not. What about the... What about the dark people, man? What about the black people? Black Muslims? They will be white, man. They will, they're going to be so white, brother. They're going to be so white that they're going to give light, brother. Their hearts will be as if the heart of a single man. Oof, oof, oof. For they will have neither enmity nor jealousy amongst themselves. Wow. No hatred, brother. But uh, what about the Shia and the Sunni, brother? They curse each other left and right, brother. Every morning, brother. No, no. There will be no jealousy, no enmity. Okay. Everyone will have two wives from the Huris, okay, who will be so beautiful, pure, and transparent that the marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and flesh. What? Rob Christian, are you telling me you didn't lie, brother? No, brother. I, I told you, man. I'm going to prove it to you. They will look like this, brother. Uh-huh. So when I say my Shahada, and I die, and I blow myself up, or let's say I die, and I go to the Islamic brothel of Jannah, brother, I will get a Huri like this, brother? Yes, brother. Because why? Because the Prophet said so, brother. The Prophet said that? Yes, brother. The Prophet said that. Yeah. Who doesn't want to say the Shahada now? After reading this from Muhammad. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Any Muslim who wants to call us. Muslims, your Huris will look like this. I kid you not. This is Muhammad saying that, not me. Don't blame me. I'm only reading what your Prophet saying in Sahih al-Bukhari. I gave you the link, right guys? Let me give you the link. If you missed it, let me give you the link. Don't say Rob Christian you're lying. No, no, no. This is Sahih al-Bukhari saying that. They will be beautiful, pure and transparent. And the marrow of their bones, of their legs will be seen through. The bones and flesh. Yes, like this, brother. Do we have any Muslim in the chat or listening? My Skype is open. Call me if you want to refute me. If you think you can refute me about my today's teaching, call me. Yes, brother. We are here, we are live. What about this guy, guys? What about this man? Look at this guy. Brother, why are you have a cement block? Between your legs, man, isn't that... Is, how are you going to fight like this, brother? Brother, I need to protect my genitals for the 72 Huris, brother. You know, when I go uh, to, to the Islamic brothel of Allah, I need to protect my genitals when I do jihad, brother. So, this is true story, guys. True story. Look what this says. Muslim terrorist protecting his genitals. I mean, this is not edited, guys. This is true. Muslim terrorist protecting his genitals with cement block in case he gets killed. When, he, when someone kills him in the battle, he will still have his genitals ready for his 72 virgins in heaven. Brother, you need to say the Shahada after this picture, brother. Aha! Brother, this is true story, brother. I didn't edit this video, brother. This is true. This is real, brother. And why not its brains? Because it's not about the brains in Islam. Last Jedi, who told you in Islam you need to use brains? Throw away the brains. Throw away the key. It's all about the genitals, brother. Look. True story, brother. It's all about the genitals, brother. Yes. I mean, if, if you are not convinced about after today's teaching, 
that Islam is true, then I don't know what true means. I don't know what the truth means. If you are not convinced to say the Shahada after today's teaching, because it's all about, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Do we have any Muslim? Yalla ya khwan. Where are the khwan? Where are the Muslim brother? Why don't you call me brother? Are you ashamed brother about today's topic brother? Are you ashamed? Well, if you are ashamed, why are you still a Muslim? Why are you still a Muslim about after today's teaching? Why are you still a Muslim? It's almost 2020. Why are you still in this man-made cult, man? I'm the true living God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. This is an insult for our living, holy God of the Holy Bible. This is an insult. God will never ever allow such filth in his heaven. Wake up Muslims, please drop Muhammad, denounce Muhammad because he's nothing but a fake prophet who created Islam for himself only for him and himself alone to get as many women as he desired. And remember what Aisha said? Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fi hawaka ya Muhammad. Right? I see, Aisha saying, I see that your Lord always hasten to fulfill your sexual desires, right Muhammad? Aisha knew, Aisha knew Muhammad was a fake. Aisha knew her husband was a scam. Hamza Farid, what is, what is your, what is your uh, nickname? What is your nickname? I'm, I blocked a lot of people. What's your nickname, brother? What's your ID? What's your ID? I blocked a lot of kids. I hope you're not one of those kids who waste my time. Abu Hamza Rama. Abu Hamza Rama. Why are you lying? You are not in my block list. Liar. The proof is in front of you. Why are you lying? Get lost, man. Don't waste my time. You munafiq hypocrite. No, no, Hamza Farid, you're a liar. You are a liar. You are not in my block list. I just showed you the screen, Abdul. Don't lie. You have no shame. You have no dignity. This is why you need, you need to use taqiyya and trying to show everybody that you are in my block list. You are not in my block list. You are a liar. So, do we have any real Muslim who is not a kid who doesn't want to waste my time? If you're actually a sincere Muslim, call me, let us have a nice, respectful discussion. We are live, we are here. We are live from Washington DC, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> Michael Buffer, I like this guy, man. Uh, well, how is how is he going to try to steal my IP? I mean, I have a huge security, man. I use one of the best VPNs out there. So, you know, good luck with that. I have a VPN. Good luck finding my IP address. Do you have any Muslim? Yeah, actually, uh, you should you should uh, not give money to Netflix. To be honest with you, 
Yeah, you know, there's nothing called Prophet Jesus. It's Isa. They're hypocrites. Because Isa is not our Jesus. I mean, Jesus, in many movies, he has been mocked. He's, he has been insulted. What's new? This is not the first time. But when it's going, you know, these movie makers are such cowards. Let them make a movie about Muhammad. See what will happen. See how many Christians will die on the streets of Pakistan. See what will happen in Pakistan. They will burn a church, maybe in Egypt, maybe in Pakistan, maybe in uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, you should actually cancel Netflix, to be honest with you. Don't give them money. Don't give money to such an evil organization. Yeah, why, why, is, why are they creating movies about uh, Jesus? Why not about Muhammad? Because these movie makers know will ha what will happen. They, you know, these people are such liberals. They only can attack Jesus because they know Christians won't go on the streets. They won't cause havoc. They won't kill people on the streets like they do in Pakistan and uh, Afghanistan and uh, Egypt and, what, and so on and so on. Indonesia. Yeah. How many Christians will die on the streets of Afghanistan if we burn a book on the streets in London and we put it on tape? Yeah, these people are crazy, man. They are madmen. They are nothing but followers of a madman who had a dirty mind, who even lusted after his own daughter, Zainab bint Jash. Right? When he went inside the house of Zaid, Zaid wasn't at home. His own son, Zaid bin Muhammad. And when he saw the naked body of his daughter-in-law, he said, Subhan muqallib al qulub Glory to the one, to Allah, who turns hearts. So he blamed Allah. Muhammad, the fake prophet of Islam, blamed Allah for lusting after his own daughter. See how evil this man is. And you call this a man of God, Muslims. You call this the best of creation. Well, your best of creation is nothing but a disgusting, filthy, evil, sexual predator, a pedophile, an incest prophet. Incest prophet. That's what he is. Abdul, you're not on my block list. Stop pretending that you're blocked. We are just showed you. Let me show you again. It's on screen. You're not blocked, Abdul. Look. You're not here. You said Abu. Abu something. What's your name? Abu something. There is no Abu in my list, man. So stop lying. Stop using taqiyya. Your taqiyya is not working here. Who am I? Are you talking to me? Tez Ashan Robin. Who am I? I'm uh, one of the worst enemies of Islam. You want to call me? I say that your prophet is a fake prophet. Are you a Muslim? Call me. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Call me. We can have a nice discussion. I claim, Rob Christian is claiming, that's me. I claim that your prophet Muhammad is a fake prophet. And he created Islam only for his sexual desires. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? I mean, if you look at this picture... You must say the Shahada, right, Muslims? I mean, if, you, if this picture does not allow you to think and consider to say the Shahada for the 72 virgins, you must protect your genitals when you go do jihad, then I don't know what truth means. This, this is true story. guys. It's all about the genitals. Yeah. True story, brother. It's all about the virgins, right? And the virgins, the, the Huris, will look like this, according to Muhammad, right? This is Sahih al-Bukhari, and we mentioned to you that Muhammad said, right?
The marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Okay, let's see who's calling me. I hope we will have a nice call. Yes, brother? Why are you posing? Why are you running away? I'm running away. Oh, it's you, Ultimate Shirk, Rashad Khalifa boy. Your daddy, Ultimate Okay, can you, can you, do you agree with yes, Muhammad? Do you agree with Muhammad? Are you gonna run again? I'm running. I'm always running from you, don't you know? Are you a Rashad Khalifa boy, Abdul? Hey. Do you follow Rashad you, Khalifa? Why are you blocking me then? If you have... Do you follow Rashad why, Khalifa? Why do I have... Do you Just let's follow? talk, man. Cut okay. the thing off. Okay. You know. Are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? <laughs> Abdul, don't waste my let's time. Let's talk are about you, Are you a follower said, of Rashad Khalifa? Yes or no? I said, are we gonna are we gonna be debating Guys, yes or let's no? See if he's going to are answer. you gonna hang up? So I am. Go, I, I am debating you. I'm, de I'm asking you. As soon as I say yes or no. I'm not a coward. I'm asking you a question. Are you, gonna do are you a Rashad Khalifa follower? Yes or no? Listen, you did that. You did, you did a cowardness, you said, oh. Get lost. Donkey. Don't waste my time. You see, he doesn't, he doesn't even like to answer a question, man. Let me block this kid, man. Can't even answer a question, man. Who are you, man? You see, I knew, I knew it was him. I knew. No, I know, Daniel, uh, you know, we wasted many debates with him, many hours with this guy, so, you know, I don't want to waste my time with a fake Muslim like this kid. He's a fake Muslim. Ultimate Shirk is a fake Muslim. He's a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa was killed in a mosque, and he's a follower of a cult leader. Rashad Khalifa is a cult leader, right? His cult leader was stabbed to death in a mosque because he claimed that he's the messenger of Allah after Muhammad. He was killed because he claimed that the Quran is talking about him. So you're not even a real Muslim, man. Why, why should I debate you, man? Why are you not even answering the question? We know you are a Rashad Khalifa boy. Why are you running from it? Fake Muslims, man. Send me a real Muslim. Don't send me a fake follower of a cult leader like Rashad Khalifa guys if you're interested about Rashad Khalifa we mentioned it many times uh, Phil Herrera just posted the link you will understand who Rashad Khalifa is Rashad Khalifa claimed to be a messenger after Muhammad in the 90s <laughs> so he's like he's, he's a scam he's a scam guy you know so don't send me kids man send me real Muslims man don't waste my time do we have any Ustaz? Do we have any real Muslim, real Ustaz, real Imam who can defend his Prophet? Is there any Muslim? Guys, by the way, um, tonight, tonight, uh, I invited, I'm invited to do a uh, show with our brother Al Fadi. Right, so I think I'm going to go eat something uh, soon. And tonight we're going to have a nice recording with uh, Brother Al Fadi about a couple of topics. And soon, when uh, the editing is done and stuff, you know, take some time, it will be uh, be uploaded, uh, Lord willing, on my sh uh, on my YouTube channel and also on his YouTube channel. So. Pray for us, guys. Hopefully, there are going to be amazing recordings. Yeah, with Al Fadi, Al Fadi, uh, maybe the admins can give you his YouTube channel. His his YouTube channel is called Sira International, and he's a ex-Muslim. He's an ex-Muslim from Saudi, Saudi Arabia. He's an Arabic speaker like me, and he's going. I think it's going to be fun. Lord willing, it's going to be a fun. Time we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to spank Islam. Uh, so yeah, it's going to happen tonight. The start, the first time that there are, we we have spoken many times on Skype, you know. But Lord willing, it's going to happen today.
Do we have any Muslim or should we wrap this up guys? Did you enjoy yourselves today? I hope you benefited from today's live show. We've shown you how evil Islam is. We've shown you how evil Islam is towards women, especially the Prophet of Islam who killed women and children. We showed you from Hadith. Right? We've spoken about the adult breastfeeding. We gave you the links. This is reported in Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 1453a. We went through some topics. We also played a video for you from uh, Mr. Ali Dawa, evil, disgusting Ali Dawa, the nurse of Mimi Hijab, who was insulting our dear sister Hatun, saying, I will spit in your face. Yeah. And we showed you that he got this language from his prophet, who said, if you are proud about Al Jahiliya, go bide on the penis of your forefathers. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you like our teaching, if you want to support us, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Smash that like button and don't forget to click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live, like today. Help me to help you. Download our videos. Spread them around. Spread our videos to show, to show those poor ignorant Muslims who have no clue about Islam. They only listen to their Imams and their Imams will never ever talk about these topics. Right? So you need to wake them up because it's almost 2020. Show them the true face of Islam. Download our videos, spread our videos on your social media accounts. Help me to help you. Don't be lazy Christians. Don't do it for me. Do it for the poor victims of Islam. Do it for the poor ladies who are getting a lot of beating under this cult. Women are allowed to be beaten according to the Quran. Muslim males, Muslim husbands are allowed to beat their women. Wadribuhunna, strike them. Right? I really have to go. Uh, I wish, I wish Princess Rainbow, I wish I could stay longer, right? But as I mentioned earlier, we, uh, we have to do a recording tonight with our brother Al Fadi from Sira International. So <clears throat> I have to eat something I really didn't eat yet. And I think I will, uh, then be calling him and we will set up the recording so i hope we we'll have we'll have some nice videos out of it some nice results of, out of this and lord willing we are shared on our youtube channel god bless you guys god bless your families thank you for your support stay healthy stay safe Without you, we can't do this, guys. So please share our YouTube channel with your friends, with your family, with your on social media. Let the people know that we are doing live shows. I mean, there are not many people who are doing live shows, right, guys? We are putting a lot of our private time in this. So don't let it go to waste. Help a brother out, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Merry Christmas if we don't see each other again. Who knows? Enjoy this holy month. Enjoy this holy month of the birth of our Lord and Savior in this, in this world. In the world. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. And Islam is nothing but a man-made created sex cult for Muhammad and only for Muhammad alone. Don't be blind, Muslims. Wake up. This cannot be a religion from God. God would never ever allow this insult. This is an insult for God. God will never allow you to have 
orgies in his presence in heaven. This is an insult for our, our true living God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Wake up Muslims, please drop Islam, drop the fake prophet of Islam and come back to Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching guys. God bless you. Lord willing, we will see each other again very soon. God bless.